What is going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be breaking down my fade steps for you guys. Zoomed in, up close, slow down. So you guys can really take away exactly how I do my fades. I did a video like this a long time ago and it's one of my top performing YouTube videos, but I've gotten a lot better since then. We got a lot better camera setup and the editors obviously. We're gonna put some diagrams on there. Hopefully it is super helpful for you guys. But let's get right into the video. All right guys, we got it way zoomed in. I've already cut the top. We got it blended into the sides. It's basically a three on the sides. So first thing I wanna do is determine where my guideline's gonna go. I'm gonna kind of follow its head shape. We're gonna do just a basic, regular shape, kind of a mid fade. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of his vertical bar, come straight back. And guys, I'm using my Andy Slimline Pro because it is not very sharp. So that's gonna help us take the bald line out in the next part of this haircut. Now you guys can do it with a clipper closed. You can do it with a sharp trimmer. It is up to you. But the sharper the trimmer is, the harder it's gonna to be to take out in the next step. So I'll show you guys that when we get there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bald out a little bit underneath where I punched the line in. And with that same idea, guys, now I'm gonna use a sharper trimmer underneath that. So you guys may not be able to see the difference, but this is quite a bit sharper and it is gonna help my shaver work a little bit easier and also not leave such a harsh guideline because we already put the line in with the softer trimmer so we're helping ourselves kind of in two different steps now another mistake a lot of people do is take the shaver all the way up to that line so what we want to do is come about a half inch under the line shave everything down and then we'll tap our shaver on that to get any hints of a line that are left and again making it easier to fade up if we take that shaver all the way up to that trimmer line that is going to be a super harsh line that we're not going to be able to get out And you can see where we did the sharper trimmer, the shaver has no problem going over it. And just like that, we have it shaver bald and ready to move on. All right guys, next step, come in with the lever all the way open. That means up here is closed, all the way back is open. And we're gonna go up about three quarters of an inch. So I'm just setting in my next guideline, following the exact shape of the first guideline that we put in. Now most clippers guys have notches on the side. I want you guys to visualize if this section had lines through it and just like the five notches, there was five lines in the middle of the section. So we're gonna use it closed with the first notch at the bottom of the section, work our way up. The third notch will be in the middle of the section and we just set it in with the fifth notch. And like I said, the fifth line is at the top of the section. So we'll just start with the clipper closed and we just wanna bump this line up ever so slightly. And again guys, if we had used a sharp trimmer, this line would not come out with our clipper. And that is kind of just for you guys to decide what you're comfortable with. You can use a sharp trimmer and then start out flicking it out with the trimmer. I like to use something that's not so sharp and then my clipper closed will take that line out. So like I said, if that was the first notch, we can go to the second notch and we'll just go up a little bit more. Again, we're just splitting the section up into five little mini sections. So. Wherever our lever is, is where we should be in the section. Third notch, we should be halfway up. And again, guys, we set it in with it all the way open, so we've already done that. And a lot of times you can use a little finesse and you don't need to use every notch. You can just flick into the next one. So usually I just do close at the bottom, halfway open in the middle, and again, we set it in with it open. So you guys can see it looks pretty good. Come through one more pass with it open, and we can move on to our next panel. All right guys, next step, one guard on, all the way open again, and we're gonna go up another three quarters of an inch. Now I am flicking out a little bit more. You guys see the motion is kind of like this. Now you don't have to do anything crazy. We just wanna go in and get out. So I'm going in, flicking out slightly, setting in that open one guideline. It is the number three above it. Once we get this guideline set in, guys, I like to actually go up and connect everything together. And then all we have left is this line underneath here that we will tackle at the end. So like I said, guys, number three at the top, this is a number two, it is all the way closed. And same thing, I'm going in, I'm not digging into the top of the head, I'm going in and getting out. So I'm going through the line, I know that I'm gonna need the one and a half on that line. So I'm just lightening the line up to come in with the one and a half and take it the rest of the way out. So 
next up, this is the one and a half, and guys, it is halfway open. That is gonna be the sweet spot between the one and the two closed. If I use it open, it's gonna be longer than a two closed, and if I use it closed, it's gonna be longer than a one open. So that is why this is the sweet spot. These are your 16th guards, or this is uh, actually a 3 16 guard, I believe. But these are in between the big guards. They're not intended to be used for their whole section. They're just intended to be used to connect the two together, like you guys can see. And now all we have left underneath this is our open one guideline above our open section. So you guys can see we're blended from here up. We have our open section done. All we have to do now is take this last line out. So just to play it safe, I'm gonna start with my one open. I'm gonna go right underneath the one and a half that we just did and just make sure that we're tying in correctly. The one closed is quite a bit shorter. So if I come in with that right away and get into it, I can cause a little bit of damage. Now I know we're safe, I can go ahead and close up the one. And again, guys, we're gonna go through the line and right above it. We don't wanna stay just on it because we know that we're gonna need the half guard to get that line all the way out. So this should be lightening it up. If you guys feel this is a little bit short, I had somebody comment that the other day, go ahead and go half open if you want and go above where you're at with it closed. You guys can lighten it up even more. And then again, come in with it closed closer to that line. And last but not least, we'll come in with the half guard and it will get anything out that is left behind from the one close. You guys can see we still have a nice, well not nice, it's pretty bad, but this line right here left from the one close. So no matter what I do with the one close, it is not gonna get it out. I need to come in with the half guard. It is halfway open and that's gonna be our sweet spot here. So just like the one and a half guys, halfway open is the sweet spot. If I close this, it's actually shorter than an open clipper. And if I open it, it's actually longer than a closed one. So it's not gonna cut anything. So that doesn't mean you can't close it or open it. Obviously those lengths are still in here somewhere. So if I need to open it for safety, I can go up a little bit higher. If I need to close it and come down lower, I can. It's just important that I pay attention to where I'm at and what I've already done and make sure that I'm using the right length for the right spot. So you guys can see this fade is coming together. So you guys can see the fade is looking super nice. I like to go ahead and line up the vertical bar. That way I can kind of see the finished product, kind of work my way all the way around the rest of the haircut, and then I can come back in and detail. And that brings me to my next point, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and cut his other side for a detailing video. If you guys want to see that, make sure you are subscribed so you guys can come back and learn how to detail a fade. So I'm going to do it real quick without instructions. You guys just make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it when it comes out. Now that we've gone over these steps of the fade, guys, check out my three finger technique right here so you guys can place your fade wherever you want. 